so named because it has a really nice sort of distinctive sound to it. Chirp scratch, um, you can you can kind of do it in a quite nice and easy motion. So you start with the, the crossfader on, with the sound audible. And what you do is you essentially just push your hands away from each other at right angles. So it's kind of like speaking and kind of going boom, and you're sort of interrupting the sound before it has a chance to finish. So it demonstrates with the R sound. When you push away, you kind of get a chip. You're playing the sound really hard and fast and make it like you're interrupting someone. And then what you do is you replicate the same move back so you get the same sound in both directions. So you're trying to get the rhythm sounding the same on each uh, scratch and you move back to the same start position of the sound. The reason it has that sharpness is because we use it at the start of the sound, so you have, you have that little bit of silence before the sample starts. If I do the chirp in the middle of the sound, you get a different flavour. same time with, I start with the open crossfader okay and I start we have a mark here on the, on the record that's very important so you can you, it's a visual mark okay and so here my, my sample starts at 12 12 o'clock like 12 3 o'clock 6 o'clock 9 o'clock okay and we start at 12 o'clock at the beginning of the sample and my hands gonna move away and come back at the same time like Okay, I'm gonna exaggerate the, the movement maybe.
so how many how many years does it take to get to to your level of, of scratch? Do you think? Um, to to the level I got now, it's it's twenty years of um, scratching. Um, but you can you don't need twenty years to to, to start scratching. You know, it's like uh, I think to to really get all the techniques because there's a lot of techniques now. We have like. You said five five techniques. I said like it's it's like I don't know nine something like that. I, I write something down. We have the baby scratch, forward cuts, reverse scratch. Reverse scratch is like uh, <coughs> then we have the tears. It's like one forward, two backward. Okay, you have two forward, one backward. Years, then what you have, you have here the chirp, slice scratches. A slice is the is the reverse of a chirp. A chirp, slice. Okay. Uh, then what you have, you have the seesaw. It's a baby here on the record, and you cut off the third note like like um, it's like a chirp, but you cut off the third note. Some stabs. You can do them with the with the volume fader too. It's like you stab somebody. <laughs> no people are harmed in the making of this crap. <laughs> Cut out. So then, yeah, you have the transformer scratch. Transformer scratch is really important. It's really important. Uh, cash money. Cash Money invented it, and uh, then Jesse Jeff uh, on the same album like the Mag Magnificent, he had like uh, like uh, with a sample. I don't know exactly the sample. Uh, so so the basic basic technique it's like you move it slow with this hand on the record, and with this hand here you're gonna do some small cuts. And you want to use your, your wrist like a spring. That's really basic transforming. If you want to get clean, it's like uh, it's cool to do stuff like uh, um, three, three transform forward, four transform backward, like one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, so that's that's make your transform clean. And then you have the, the crazy transform like like a spring on the fader you don't have to be too uh, too uh, stiff too stiff exactly thank you you don't have to be too stiff with your, with your thumb you have to be uh, like smooth relaxed so so it, it's gonna let the crossfader open sometimes and it's gonna be one two three it's called the crab because it's like a, a crab moving on you know, on, on the beach uh, I think Cuba <laughs> and Mixmaster Mike they named it because uh, they had uh, had some some crabs. Uh, they eat some crabs, and they were in Lebanon or something like that. <laughs> and then they had uh, all some some crabs. And, you know, now we call it crabs. You know, <laughs> so yeah, the name is crabs. Kubert named it or invented it. I don't know exactly, but okay. It's like kind of a faster way to do a transform. The, the cuts are faster. I go forward, backward. 
and then you can put it in orbit like it's um, looped. <laughs> whatever you want on the vine. <laughs> so, just to answer maybe your question, so yeah, it's, it's, it's been a time that, that I'm scratching, but these, these techniques, that's really the basic techniques that you can get it in, it, it depends how hard you, you're gonna practice, so you can get it in a few months, one year, two years. I think to be, become a good scratcher, you need two, two three years to, to get the techniques uh, uh, in, your, in your brain because it's, it's kind of muscle, muscle memory. Yeah. yeah I, I, I personally have been DJing for like 15 years and I spent the first two years being rubbish at scratching. Because um, it, it does take, like, and it, it varies for every different person. Because um, one thing you, um, there's a style of scratching called hamster mode or reverse mode. Um, which is invented by a group called the British Scratch Hamsters. And they basically, so when we, all the scratches we're doing are in normal, in the sense of the, the records on my left side, and when I move the crossfade from right, over to left, you hear the sound. And what these DJs did, what they did is they actually swapped the inputs on the mixer so that when the record, when the, the fader is towards the record, it's muted, so you scratch when you go away from it. And this is kind of very much like a personal choice sort of thing, and where you, I kind of think it's, what, particularly for stuff like the transform of the crab, if like, because when you do the crab, your, your thumb and fingers are basically bouncing the, the batting the fade around, you're not actually gripping it at any point. Um, and I tend to think it's whether your, your, your fingers are stronger than your thumb, you go one way, or if vice versa, you go the other. Um, and the nice thing, like, for the scratching is that you can, if you're not, you're not good at scratching on this side, you can go on this side and do all the same scratches, you can do them on either side, and the best thing is the extra is you can do both. Um, so you can kind of play around and personalise um, your setup make it comfortable for you how you like to scratch. Um, so, yeah. so I actually started scratching in reverse to get the crab scratch, uh, but now I scratch in normal, but it, that switching to that mode actually helps me get the insight into how the, the fader moves and stuff like that. That's why I'm called Switch. I have no idea what I'm called Switch. The, the real reason I'm called Switch, I was called DJ Switch, I'm now Mr. Switch. I was DJ Switch because I wrote a list when I was 11, and that was the only good name on the list. I'm not going to tell you any of the other things. <laughs> and the reason I'm called Mr. Switch is that there are a lot of people who call themselves DJ Switch. Uh, I'm from Birmingham, and when I started DJing in Birmingham, there was a guy already called DJ Switch, and he saw that there was this 13 year old kid around who was alright, and he actually changed his name so that I could be called DJ Switch. Awesome. I'm blessing. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to um, scratch a bit over a couple of beats and sort of show you how all these techniques kind of come together and how you get flow out of them. Um, yeah, because DJ Nelson and I have been scratching for a very long time, and it's fair to say we kind of we kind of live for this kind of thing. Um, so once you have the techniques and you know them and you get them up to speed, um, so you know you just start with the baby scratch and the chirps and the transforms. Once you get them up from when you start doing chirps, doing like this. Just get, and just about getting the right hand coordination for each scratch. Once you get to a level where you can do it speed. And then it's not just about power, it's finding a flow and rhythm so that the beat you're playing. So we just go down for a little bit um, and maybe get some people up to try a couple of uh, scratches. Some loops from, from a looper, it's an application. 
application and you can, uh, you can click on a lot of beats I'm gonna show you and it's Odilon, DJ Odilon who made this, this group. I'm just going to like do a little jam with each style of scratch. So this is the chirp scratch.
That's late 90s. Flaring came like 95, 96, something like that. And then everybody wanted to learn the flare. The flare named by DJ Flare, uh, one guy of the, the, the crew from DJ Cuber, the Invisible Scratch Pickles. And so Flare invented the flare. There's an original flare, then we have one click flare, two click flare, three click flare, a million zillion flare. I don't know. <laughs> but we're going to show you different flares. Uh, maybe we. Which one? One click? Okay, one click flare. Yeah, that's a, so one click flare. Basically, if you have your your R sound, that's that's an R. Okay, that's the R. So basically, like, and you cut just the sound in the middle. Okay, you don't cut it like the chirp. When you cut the sound with the chirp, it's here. The cut's gonna be here at at the beginning and at the end. Now with the flare, your cut's gonna be in the middle, and your crossfader, your crossfader after. After you, you, you finished with forward or backward, your crossfader always gonna end up open. That's that's the tricky tricky part of the flare. It's that's not a closed closed fader technique. That, that's an open fader technique. One two 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 One click flare, one click flare. Then uh, um, maybe you do it, do it very slow, very very slow, just to you cut it. Yes, and then you, when we say like the, the scratch started at twelve and goes to four o'clock, we cut it at like uh, two o'clock. Yeah, the cut gonna be at two o'clock. That's very technic, but it's. It's just to get it uh, clear, okay? You, you, ha you don't have to, you can cut it faster. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It gives you two notes. It's pretty, pretty simple. The tricky part is that the crossfader has to be open at the end of every um, uh, going forward and going backward. Yeah. Then we have the, we have the two, two click flare. The two click flare, it's not like the one click flare, you have two sounds, the two click flare you have three sounds, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, two click flare gives you three sounds, one to three, one to three, one to three. 
It's a, it's a always go to. I always go to the two click flare. It's a, w w like w when when Switch looped it. It's called an orbit because it, because it's like an orbit. It's looped. That's an orbit. Orbit two click flare. Nice. Uh, maybe. Yeah. on the looper, okay, that's a DJ Odilon, Odilon looper, we, we, you can have these loopers for free, it's on yourlooper.com and you can download them for free and have loops and loops and loops, that's our way to, to practice, so we, we just uh, let the, the loop go and then we, we practice our different techniques, okay, I'm going to show you now the, the three click flare. So every time the record goes backwards and forwards, Nelson is putting in three little chops on the crossfader every so the record goes du, 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 and all the, all the three sounds when the record is moving come from the crossfader and the fourth and the fourth and the fourth pause is with the record stopping and changing direction so you have fader 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 stop fader 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 back So when you start to think about incorporating scratching into club sets and DJ routines like everyone is doing on the, the main stage, is as well as just coming up with different uh, patterns on your own, sometimes it's nice to have a beat that has a nice pattern in itself. So that, that tune is a sample of a classic, um, a, a classical track. If my dad's in the room, he can tell me which one it is. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, he's gone. Right. <laughs> I'll get him back and I'll find out. Because it's, it's, it's a classic with that everyone knows. And that, dun, 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 dun. So what a lot of DJs uh, tend to do is sort of like match scratching or imitation scratching. So you do the same pattern to sort of fit with the beat. Yeah. It's like the, the flute, you know, the, the, 
I was I was just thinking uh, yeah to, to to follow the flute and uh, the the only way I could do it was with a three click flare because I figured out that it's too too fast for a two click flare so I had to to that it match I had to find the, the three click flare and I had to work on my three click flare that I get the speed the right speed that that it sounds good like I'll show you again. So this is this is the, the, the original flare, which has spawned a lot of um, uh, follow-ups with the one clicks and two clicks. So DJ Nelson's going to show us the, uh, the original flare. It's like um, the difference between an orbit it was like a switch. He he goes like forward and backward, like one two three, one two three. And the original flare, you have to to do. I don't know how to explain it. Instead of doing forward and backward, you do it in one movement like. Sort of from so the sounds you, that you heard Nelson doing is playing the sound forwards and on the back movement putting a click in between so you get dun 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 so when you sort of do them was dun 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 yeah so that's the original flare. So then DJs went on a step further from that and started to put a click on both the forwards and the backwards. Yeah, no, like a... showed it last year so I hope uh, you get the technique and you're gonna do something else with it. I don't know if I invent something or something else, maybe the scratch uh, already exists, but uh, I'm from Strasbourg and in France and we, we have a brand that's called uh, Steffler and they, they make some sausages and all that stuff, <laughs> yes. <And> so, <laughs> the brand is called Steffler and so that's the Steffler, okay? I'm gonna show it, it's really easy, you do a, you do a baby and then you go forward, and backward is the same thing, a little baby scratch, one, two, and backward. One, two, forward, one, two, backward. Little baby, forward and backward, and I'm going to show you the movement on the crossfade. Yeah. So 
this, this is that same scratch when you, you hear it over a beat. So fitting it into one, two, three, four, or the one, two, three. So or fitting into So the, the scratches don't just go straight four, four time. You can use your scratches like four. It's gonna be ah ah ah. Then you have eight. It's like ah ah ah, and it's usually like a, a baby like. Then you have 16, it's like and then you have 32, it's like Yeah, so you can you can divide divide the the techniques into these musical signatures or I don't know how you say that, but yeah, four, eight. 16 and 32 for all the producers and beat makers you know exactly and half what time I'm talking about. and then double time oh half time oh maybe I'm, I'm, I can show you some half time scratches um, <laughs> try to oh yes the 17 oh that's perfect that's a nice half time beat it's like what what the when the rapper rap, okay, I'm, I'm really not a rapper, but it's, it's, it's gonna be like, yo, da, 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 half time gonna be like, Okay, that, that come from jazz. I didn't invent nothing. That come from jazz. <laughs> scratching, scratching actually is a little bit like jazz because you you improvising with your with your musical instrument and you you can skip to a beat. You no, know, if you skip to a beat like a uh, bit of and like like I did, it's gonna help you to to develop to develop your your techniques and to uh, to bring it precisely on the music. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show it. Maybe not with the mouth, but with the hands. It's gonna be maybe better. <laughs> Start creating. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty much hard and stretches. So you have two two speeds in this in this rhythm. You have like the the one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, you have the, these these kinds of two rhythms in it. Okay, you can count it like one, two, three, four, and the other one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's, it's how you want. You can do one. You can say one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's how you you how it's easier for you. Okay. Nice. Scratch, uh, boomerang, yeah. Oh, no, that, that's the autobahn, autobahn. Yeah, that's autobahn. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So I'm, I'm doing the, the boomerang. He was already on the autobahn. <laughs> There's so many new scratches out there, um, and like with the with a couple of basics, a lot of these scratches are made just coming out with different patterns and just combine them all together to get a lot of these. And they, yeah, and they came from like the baby scratch, uh, the forwards, the chirps, the transforms, uh, the crab, uh, the tears, the flares, and they all kind of, yeah, so from those, that sort of basic vocabulary, which we tend to describe as sometimes, that initial basic vocabulary, you sort of take those letters and put them into words and make something that's a little bit more complex. But you can still see where those in, uh, initial ingredients are. Um, so DJ Nelson's going to drop the boomerang on the scratch.
So, so, so we just noticed we're sort of running a little bit over time, so we're going to have the, the, the beatbox workshop coming up uh, very soon. So we're going to sort of uh, quickly wrap up. And so are, are there any questions from you guys about any of the stuff we've done, any of the stuff they're all doing out there? Any quick questions you want to fire at us? It's not a question, it's just um, when you're doing a ti timing thing, there's one other thing, like, if you say and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, you can really hit those like extra 32 two rhythms, like with that extra tight, like saying one, two, three, four, if you get and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four, that's just keeps you on that hyper plane. Exactly, that's, that's, a, that's a good point, you know. Thank you. There's like a counting, counting style, you can do one, two, three, four, or one and two and three and four, and it's our head bumping. Yeah. You know, when we head bumping, it's like a, a nat natural, because we, we're gonna do one and two and three and four and one, and when we like bouncing in the club, yeah. we, we, we like, uh, uh, one, they, they say one E and A, uh, Two. Okay, so it's gonna be one e and a uh, two e and a uh, three e and a uh, four e and uh, it's it's gonna be like one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Uh, any other questions? Yeah. yeah. Say it, say it. Right. Um, and then, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's very, very you You've got six minutes. <laughs> That's the that's one part. One two one 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 two. Okay, you can do one one two one two one. It's the same thing. It's tiers. It's the forward tier and the backward tier. Okay, I, I do it like this. One uh, sorry. One two one 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 two. One two one 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 two. And then here a flare on it. It's I start to slow it. Uh, I start to I I start slow. which everybody uses now and it's DJ Hertz uh, from uh, 9 o'clock uh, DJ Hertz from Scratch Science who, who invented this with, with his friends with uh, Deska, Mr. Victor, uh, Mr. Victor and uh, Air Ash, Arash okay and it's like a, like a scratch like um, uh, uh, tears, tears but very stiff okay very stiff backwards <laughs> So that's, that's a, a fairly comprehensive uh, history of scratching. Sorry we're taking up a little bit more time that's um, amazing. than we plan to, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, I've been Mr. Switch, this is DJ Nelson. Uh, that